This is um, like an instruction manual for building um, the new GSJ Audio's um, amplifier chassis. It's a um, modular design. Um, yes, it's familiar to some views. Um, however, we've used a familiar design and redesigned it to uh, ensure that we are able to keep costs down from the point of view of uh, you, the customer. As you can see, it's um, anodized aluminium. We've kept the, uh, the color scheme, which again is familiar. Um, just to make it stand out a bit, um, as you can see, I'm putting the uh, base plate on, which adding the base plate to the heatsink. Um, when I say it's a modular amplifier, uh, what it means is you should be able to go on our website and you can choose your modules, choose your op amps, choose your binding posts. Um, hopefully we will be offering um, DSPs, the PSUs, and it is going to be a plug and play, as it were, um, DIY amp. So there's the base plate connected to one heat sink. I don't do things, um, I don't screw everything overly tight because um, sometimes you need a bit of movement and I'm not overly a fan of impact drivers because the chassis is aluminium um, on occasions you can rip the thread part of the uh, point of um, a modular build and what we're trying to come away from is where you have to drill, tap and do your own threads. Uh, we want to make this as simple as possible so you choose your chassis, you choose your requirements you can even use your existing modules and quite simply you just fit it in I reckon this takes about 15 minutes if this is my first time also this is a sample so any marks you can see it's where we're just refining the design now where everything is flush is the, see it's flush there that's the front and where it's got the curve back here that is the back there you go This is the back plate. It's got eight screw points, two for each heat sink, two for the base, and two for the top. Currently on this sample, you'll have your outputs 
for the speakers to binding posts. You have your inputs, which are XLR, power, and here for um, an option would be the speak on uh, output for the speakers. Um, in order to uh, put your front plate on, the front plate is actually larger. I use the feet just to levitate the chassis. And with regards to the front plate, it has handles. You will be required to put the handles on first. otherwise you can't put one of them. This current version is um, just been designed to use with Pascal amp module, um, new Class D module, as well as Hypex. Not the complete range of each brand, but a large enough option But as I said, once the sample, once we've uh, finished playing with this sample or doing, uh, continuing with our design, hopefully this chassis will become universal to all Class D or most Class D uh, amp modules. Remember it's uh, anodized, the finish, um, so do be careful not to scratch. Some of you may query uh, if a washer is required here, um, just for the purpose of showing you how to assemble the chassis. Um, I'm not using one. Actually, personally, I don't use them. Mm. Like I said I prefer Loctite. These should be put on as tight as possible before assembling to the front. Um, you have an option of using the Allen key. Which can be uh, difficult because uh, the screws are actually tucked behind the uh, handles. So I use a bit, which is generally for uh, impact drivers, and you'll find that it's a simple solution. This is the fiddly bit, but the uh, chassis go is not bad. Um, the 
this isn't your standard chassis. Nothing's been stamped, it's all CNC cut, giving a uh, far superior finish. Tightening everything up just so you can got a bit of wiggle room. There you go. Last one, and we'll tighten everything up. <laughs> Those of you who've continued to watch me, thank you. I'll probably fast forward this on the final edit. Oh, I think that's the trickiest one. Mm, there you go. Tighten it up with the anchor now. So, as you can see, we have the heat sink front plate, back plate, we've assembled. I think it's taken about 12 minutes. Pretty simple. And final tightening up. Um, obviously, on the website when it's up and running, we will be offering various coloured VU meters, buttons, power buttons. Initially, there may be a limited range of colours, but hopefully they'll expand over time. Okay. And then, quite simply, these are the back plates for the VU meters. They just slot in and you just screw it into the back. We have additional plates which are for the modules. This is for the various brands of amplifier modules. So for example, we have new class D, you just mount it on and off you go. Or if you're a fan of Pascal, you just 
mount your module and stick it to the inside. Put the screws on the top and then we just have the standard chassis.